Hi guys, PJ here back with another Fallout 76 video. Yeah, this time we're focusing on atriums and residential vaults. Now, these are the bigger ones and they take a lot of filling up. So what you're gonna see here is atriums such as this one. We use atriums to display some of the new bundles that come out for the clothing. So we've got some stages there. Got a little bowling alley to the left on this one. What we're hoping is you'll take away maybe the odd idea from these. We visit an awful lot of these vaults and there's literally nothing in most of them. So obviously people don't know what to do with them. We struggle ourselves to be honest. So hopefully showing this selection might spark the odd idea for you. We know that Bethesda are adding more and more of these shelters to the game. We've actually got a mainframe uh, shelter coming up next. It's been data mined. I've seen it. You know, it's quite an impressive shelter. But again, you've got to do something with it. So we're just sort of showing, like I say, these vaults. This is another atrium that we've got here. And yes, we have got a stage again. Like I say, we do use those. But this one's got a twin staircase, like a little entrance lobby here, somewhere for people to store their clothing the idea is with the catwalks in theory you'd have a viewing area to the left and right for you you people that have come to the event and then the the models or whatever would go down the catwalk and you know you've got the end stage so it's something to fill your vault up with like I say we do use them to showcase you know some of the atom store bundles the other rooms as we go up up top I've got various things As mentioned, as you go up to the side here, you've got like your VIP viewing area for the stage and everything. I sort of put the nicer um, white springs chairs here to give the idea of more of a luxury type theme to, to the viewing area for that one. And on the other side, you've also got a viewing area, but not quite as luxury. That was the sort of idea or vibe behind it all. So we've got some nice tables and stuff here. We've got a bit of a bandstand going on behind it. But again, it's just based on viewing what's happening on the stage area. If we move up to the top room now, we have what is basically an overseer's office. That's the way I see this room with that big round window. You know, it's somewhere for the overseer to have their own stuff, maybe a little corner, somewhere to put your trophies, etc., to show you stuff off that you've won. That's the general vibe behind this particular one. Anyway, so let's move on to another one of these atriums with a bit of a different take. This one, as you can see, is sort of a restaurant -y area. Jax did this one for the New Year's sort of celebrations, and we had the New Year's outfits and everything. So, sort of a restaurant, a party vibe to it. Got a bar there on the left, as you can see. And it does fill the main floor area up very, very well. Again, we're using some of the White Springs plans that you can get from buying them from the White Springs vendors. A little bit of space for outside seating, etc with the mix of the plants here down the side and once again we'll go up to the main room up above now we call this sort of area up here the hangover area you can probably gather why after you've been to the bar you've got some seats you've got some beds etc so nice place to crash when you've been to the bar Obviously moving on from there, we've got the room with the round windows, which we're going to come to next. Incidentally, going up these stairs, it's sometimes nice to fill them up. We've got a bit of clutter there from the utility sort of stuff. And we've also got uh, some sofas put in here as well. Some outside waiting, if you're waiting to go into the, what is conference brotherhood room? Yeah, so if you're waiting, you turn to come in, you've got somewhere to sit. So Jack's has themed this with the, the entire brotherhood sort of stuff that you get there. And I think this looks pretty good. This has been used quite a few times by you know, a number of people putting these tables in the middle. It does seem to work. If you're wondering what that is above the doorway there, that is actually another door. That's a Brotherhood door, but we've used it as sort of a, an emblem, if you like, you know, just to show the, the Brotherhood theme a bit more. Up 
on to the first residential shelter now this one's done with less atom store plans yeah so not everybody has got the whole atom store purchase it's very expensive so this one's a bit more sparse as you can see we've got a central sort of park area with a bit of a monument going on in the middle the monument could be anything you could actually use a white springs uh, one of the larger busts or something i do like this shelter though because you've got the the fish and you know the aquarium side of it but these little off rooms are what i'm hoping will spark you guys some ideas so here we have a science lab now i sort of took this from other areas in the game you've sort of seen experimental areas before if you played the game a lot and this is a sort of science you know we're experimenting observing the super mutants so a bit of a theme going on there it does use the mainframe bundle from the atom store but you really sort of need it to tie it in in my opinion again there's nothing special on these racks it's just a bit of clutter we've got some power connectors and lights and stuff just to make them look full and it seems to work quite well you know it's quite a nice looking little room it filled it up very nicely moving across to the other side we have a reactor room we've done a couple of different takes on this this one again with minimal atom store plans the reactor as you know you can get in game and this one again done with like i say less plans so this is sort of basic stuff that you can get in the game there's a couple of atom store bits such as the reflective you know globes that you've got there but you've got a little control station for the reactor and it sort of gives a vibe of yeah you know this is where the the shelter gets its power moving on we have another residential now this particular one again has a bit of a park theme bit of a leisure area in the middle of it there smoke is optional totally your choice of course but we've got a main display we've got the atom store bird vulture whatever it is on the top there popping away and we'll go into some of the smaller rooms I do quite like the super mutant tubes with the fancy reflective light there showing different colours on them. I think that works quite well. And also we've got playing cards up on the side. You don't see them very often in camps, let alone in shelters. Again, it's just decor seems to work. There you are, one glitched vault door for you, as per usual. Utility room. Most of you guys will be able to do this. You know, you put all your utility stuff down, your armour crafting, your cooking, etc. Definitely fill a room up with that easily enough over the other side Jax has done quite a nice room here this is actually a hospital so it's like a medical bay you'll notice the stretchers and wheelchairs outside etc would be nice if we had the, the name for all these sort of little rooms but we don't this one's under observation so we've got the nurse's desk if you like there and eyesight testing etc normal load of beds there from in the game again fills the room up makes it look very very useful Moving upstairs, we have an Orgotronic on the stage. Yeah, and basically I like this area because you've got the, the aquarium below. You've got some seating area outside. As we walk into what is basically a playroom, yeah, or a workout room, it's a leisure type area. Again, good way of filling up a room. You put all your leisure stuff from maybe last season in here and it just fills it up. As we go to the back of the area, we've got your classic bar so this is a sort of bar area this can be done in numerous different ways you don't have to use all this atom store stuff as long as you've got a sort of a bookcase to make a bar that's quite an easy thing to do you could use plans that are in game for this i think this works as a bar really well because in the background there we've got the glass showing all the plants maybe and as we walk through blue and yellow theme this is the overseer's room so it's all vault tech orientated again a lot of this is available in game without spending atom store books 
It does work well because the room itself has got the purpley blue colour, the carpet and the walls there seems to tie in quite well for that sort of general usage. Okay, we're going to move on now to another one. Now, again, we're going to go very sparingly on the Atom Store. So I'm going to leave this one to run through for a minute and point out what I feel is a couple of additions room-wise. We're coming up now on what I class as a scouts training area room. So if you can imagine they were living in shelters for you know loads of years sort of thing. This is somewhere for the, the kids to come and practice outdoor camping, scouting. Yeah, so reason for having a tent in there, training. Yeah, that's the, that's the idea behind that one anyway. Moving upstairs, yes, we've got some walls built in here. And the reason for this the walls have actually blocked off the entrances to other rooms in this shelter. So if you've run out of plans, you've got no more ideas left and you don't know what to fill the other rooms with, there you go, wall it off. You don't have to use the rooms just because they're there. So this is walled off, it's a nice aqua bar and you can't get to the other rooms. So it fills the space up quite nicely. last one guys well you've all seen cars for sale or car shows you know when you go down to your local shopping center this is our take on it so we've used the central floor space not for a park but for what is essentially a car sale bit different you know got a shooting range on the side here this is quite easy to do you can use basic walls and stuff to do this if we go inside here you've got basically a desk you could use a wooden bookcase for this that's in game if you haven't got the you know the atom store bits and bobs nice and basic does work really well fills up a big room is the general idea with this one moving across we have another reactor room a bit of a different take on it this one's got more atom store stuff sort of popped in there again fill the room up with the mainframe bit of a workstation desk using a chemistry desk there loads of radioactive warning signs just to give it the vibe and we've got the colorful light shining on the reactor like i say a bit more atom store base this one All the utility stuff there on the stairwell making use of the space until we get to the center seating area now the wooden frame around that is actually from the balconies of the house building set that's on the atom store library another use for another room got your reception person there and bookcases galore unfortunately the game doesn't have more than one bookcase this is actually a stash box out of the atom store would be nice if it could be varied a bit but having a look through all the plans and stuff didn't really spot anything suitable so it's been used quite a lot but i do feel it works pretty well as a library overall vibe you get you get the idea with it moving on we have well a bit of a worship area I wouldn't exactly say a chapel or a church but uh, there's a funeral going on because there's definitely a casket there and the grim reaper not exactly a religious vibe more of a cultist type of vibe but again the room suits it nicely last of all yeah another overseer room guys bit of a different take on it but it is overseer type type room once again again and that's pretty much it from us for this time when the new shelters come out yeah we'll do some ideas for those and pop them up on youtube as well bye for now